So when we joined the Wilson Town Center, we had the opportunity of joining our chapter for Business Professionals of America. And we, there's tons of events. You can go from PC troubleshooting all the way to like um, Microsoft Word, which there's a big variety of competitions you can join. So us, we, we decided to join the computer animation team. And every year we have a topic that changes, and this year's topic was Olympic snowboarding. When I got here at Jackson's house when the suit arrived and I put the suit on, I was, I was astonished. Like, mm -hmm. I put it on, I'm like, whoa. Like, from grabbing it to the feeling material that it was, was made nice. of, it was just, it felt extreme high quality. Mm -hmm. And I put the suit on, it fit perfectly. I walked out the front door. Yeah. And he went so, down my driveway and it could just keep on tracking. <laughs> I I was just amazed. Like I don't think there was a bigger smile on my face ever. Yeah. The setup of it was actually quite easy. All we needed really was a laptop and a phone. A phone that has a hotspot. So basically what we do is we on our phone we put turn on our hotspot so our laptop and the Rococo suit can connect to. So we connect the Rococo suit to our hotspot on the phone and then connect the laptop to the phone and then it can communicate through it. And then, you know, laptops run on battery and the phone runs on battery. So you can literally go anywhere you want with it. It was my first time ever snowboarding and I was like so scared. We were just, we we're having fun with it. Just yeah. experiencing like that right there is the full experience of that suit. Mm -hmm. As we're sitting there on the hill and you're just watching me go out in the middle of nowhere, just yeah. capturing the raw data. And I could go all the way down this hill in this suit and still mm -hmm. be contacting with the devices. And, and still have it look fluid too, yeah. have it look nice. So for anybody out there who is thinking of doing animation as a living or trying to do it and you don't think you can, like you can, it is possible. Yeah. There, there are resources around you and people will, will be willing to help you if you show that you have a real drive for it. And, uh, I think not having a suit gave us that drive to want to do better because we didn't have anything available. So once we got our hands on a suit, you know, it, the game changed and things things were different. And I feel that if if schools had um, schools for animation or people teaching animation had the suit available to the kids, that that it would be a game changer. That more people would be willing to do it because they saw that it's not as crazy, ridiculously complex as you think it is. You know what I mean? It, it really is, you're getting in a suit and it is capturing what you're doing and then you make it do what you want to do and I think that's, that's great.